U. In Iceland, a kid can be nept X Fanis or Tor BJ XF6 RG or Gare XFER XFA XF0 or but you all never meet a moon unit or a Zuma Nesta rock born in the island nation. New parents here must choose from a list of 3,500 government-approved names or plead their case to the country's personal names committee. A three-person panel tasked with preserving the country's heritage and protecting its children from a lifetime of mockery. Quote, you as overbearing as that sounds. It is too bad the committee DOESNT consult with automakers. The panel could have stopped Land Rover from abandoning years of history when, in 2005, it dropped the Discovery moniker and began adopting alphanumeric names for some of its models in the North American market. The Discovery became DLR3, and eventually U, and the compact Freelander was U. But Land Rover is now righting its wrong on its own terms, as its newest crossover would almost certainly earn the approval of the Icelandic Naming Committee. The LR2 replacement even as that model will be sold for at least one more year is now called U, and is every bit worthy of the name. The entry-level Land Rover, now competent and handsome, no longer makes a mockery of the brand. You, the Land Rover LR2 was an awkward and unloved thing. Fewer than 3,700 American buyers took one home in 2014, accounting for just 7% of Land Rover sales. Starting at $37.995, the new Discovery Sport undercuts you and you each by more than $2,000. But we, re-guessing the Land Rover will win sales based on looks alone. Their ISNT a bad angle or errant crease on the Discovery Sport. Its sheet metal is pulled taut over an athletic frame, creating a design so free of clutter that their ISNT even a reference to the rear.